everybody. Welcome to another episode of Super Gamer Boys. I am your host and captain and dad, Garrett Morlang. And here in the virtual studio with me is... Uh, let me get this straight. It's been a while. I'm a little rusty. Okay, I have it. The king of video games and resident superstar, Adrian Holmes. What's going on, fellas? We back, baby! Woo! We're back! Woo! Yay! And that's all that's in the studio with us tonight. Uh... Oh, oh wait! Oh, sorry, JJ. I didn't see you there. He's over there in the corner. Oh, I yeah. He's down at the bottom. I I totally sorry. Also joining us tonight is the one, the only JJ Purdom. Oh, JJ! Woo, Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending heavyweight oh champion of podcasting. <laughs> That's right, baby. The heavyweight champion of the world when it comes to podcasting. Everybody knows it. And I am the best in the world at what I do, which is talk on this microphone each and every week. I am the true host of the Super Gamer Boys. Well, What's up, gentlemen? Sponsored by Tractor World. Yes, Tractor <laughs> Supply. Tra Corporate tra bootlicking. <laughs> at its finest, buddy. TM. At its finest. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's good to have you back. I know, yeah, last time you flaked on us. You're like, yeah, you know what? Work more important <clears throat> than my bros. Work more, more, I, work that's podcast. the only way he's here it, it, is because it's sponsored. Yeah, right. And I, I found out, I found out very quick, like that the genuine leather that is on the boots of my corporation tastes so sweet. It, it is must. like ambrosia to these lips, guys. It's the it manure. Is it's the manure in the tread because they were farmers, it, right? Very well mm -hmm, could be. Mm -hmm. Very well could be. But yeah. I noticed that I've been losing weight uh, from eating all that manure because it runs okay. right through yeah. you. Yeah. And uh I'll tell might, you what, man. Have some worms I'm loving day. it. Yeah. <laughs> a couple parasites here and there, you know, a little parasite. tapeworm going on, but hey, yeah. Good to go. Good to go. It's good to feel employed again, you know, be earning the <laughs> an honest living. That's right. It's, Everybody you know, is working again, man. Feels good. We're, you're all off the streets. Look at that. Feels good to In be three on weeks top time. again. <laughs> In three weeks. We are no longer on the streets. I got my studio back. <laughs> they took the plywood off the door I could get back in. It was fantastic. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> now, he legitimately has plywood on his door. Oh, I yeah, know I know. I saw that. it. Okay. I mean, yeah, my door is just plywood. That That's it. So so, <laughs> so really nothing changed, but they just they just took the padlock off. They gave me the key back. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, how was your guys' breaks? We took three weeks off. Uh, by the way, all you listening, thanks for bearing with us and giving us that time to rest because it was really nice, at least for me. I don't know about Maybe you guys are going to be like, it sucked. But for me, it was really good to step back and be with some family. But, yeah, how was your guys' uh, holidays? It was good, man. I I agree. I loved having this little bit of time to just kind of, like, sit back and, 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 you know, take a breath, take a breather, relax, recharge. Now I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to hit it. Heck, yeah. Even though apparently there's not going to be anything to hit because there's nothing going on this year. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. So yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> yeah. For me, holidays were great. Uh, it was my first Christmas without my daughter uh, since she got married and moved back to California. And uh, that's going to be kind of a hard thing to get used to. You know, like I found myself video chatting around Christmas Day and crying like a little girl. Uh, and she was like, Dad, pull it together. Stop. <laughs> you know, but uh, that's just it. Um, I don't I don't know. Like Christmas is weird without my kid. But uh it was great. Holidays were great. It was nice. Yeah, forget break. about the rest of them. Yeah, screw the rest of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were there. They're like, but dad, we're here. And I'm like, but I like her the most. She's my favorite. Oh, there's the root of the thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't know if you're okay. supposed to say that to them. No. Because I do say that weekly to them. You know, and I don't know. Maybe there's going to be counseling later. That's not <laughs> my fault. And as long as I don't got to pay for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good point. Good point. Now, I didn't realize she moved back to California. I mean, you don't have to talk about that here on the show for everyone to hear, but I <coughs> thought she was living near you still, but crazy. Nope. Crazy, crazy. All right. Uh, yeah, I I had, boy, I, I we went back to New York. I, I know I mentioned that to you guys before we left. Well, at least Adrian. JJ, you weren't on the show because... I was licking boots. Out. Yeah, um, I was going to totally... say he was busy. He was preoccupied. And, and like I just mentioned briefly it was a great time i had a lot of fun with family laid low but you know what the one thing i was disappointed about there was one thing i was really bummed out about the whole trip now they were supposed to they were forecast to get all these winter storms tons of snow all this fun stuff my kids stoked out of their mind ready to see some snow like some real snow and then you know what happens we show up and it's like 
first day we were there, I think it was like high 40s, almost like 50, like definitely no snow. And it was like that for a few days. And then it finally got cold enough to snow and we get like a dusting, nothing. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You know what? We flew back. Uh, what was it? Saturday afternoon. Got back Sunday. Today, this morning, I get a text from my parents. Videos. They have over a foot of snow that they've gotten within like 24 hours. I'm like, good. Are you green. kidding me? <laughs> like within 24 hours, they're like, yeah, like 10 inches and we're probably going to get more. <laughs> like it's just piling up there. I'm like, we leave. And then like the heavens open up and the snow comes down. I'm like, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. But it's probably for the better because we probably would have gotten snowed in and then stuck there even longer. And, you know, but yeah. The that, atmosphere was like. Is Morlang still there? No? <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many Morlangs in the in, in the atmosphere. In, in this in this hemisphere or whatever. <laughs> yeah. On, on this How coast, many times have we coast. said that together, Adrian? Too many Morlangs. <laughs> too many Morlangs. One on too this many. Podcast. Okay, okay. I see how it is. <laughs> okay, let's move on then. Today we're gonna be talking about the PSVR2 reveal. That's right. You heard me right. PSVR2 over at CES. Sony gave a little deets on that. Sony also pumping out more PS4s. I don't know why they don't just pump okay. out more PS5s, but we'll right. talk about that in a bit. Uh, in the uncertainty of E3, will it happen? Won't it happen? We'll find out uh, probably later this year, but we're going to talk about it, the article here in a bit. First, let's give a quick shout out to our Patreon producers, Toby Dalton, Quote Joma, and Bleep Bloop. And uh, also our Super Gamer sponsors, Julie Bates and Mama Mare. Thank you all so much for your support. Um, whether you're the, you know, these top tier people getting the shout outs on the show or everyone else supporting us just a buck a month, each and every one of you are incredible. Thank you so much for supporting us and uh, keeping things running, keeping things going. And uh, yeah, we're excited for this next year. It's 2022. It is no longer 2021. This is a new year of Super Gamer Boys, new year for us. Yes. Today kick some ass here so let's oh, do it oh man um if you want to be awesome like these people go to patreon.com slash super gamer boys where you can support us like i mentioned for just a buck a month and uh, you get episodes early and ad free such as this show if you're not watching live you'll get it you know right after the show on your podcast feed and uh also our uh we had it used to be a patreon exclusive show now it's open to the public but you get those early and ad free as well two months early you can get super gamer book club Right now, uh, the Super Mario Odyssey episode is available featuring Pocket, uh, fantastic dude. He was so much fun to, to, to talk with. and <laughs> it's um, my guy, had, man. Had a blast doing that episode. And uh, for on the free feed, if you you know don't want to support us because whatever, you're, you're uh, just, I don't know, hate art. Loser. You, you, just, you just hate us. You hate JJ that much or something. I don't know. Uh, the Little Nightmares episode with Ray Rat is for free right now. So go check that one out. But we'll talk more about our Patreon later. Now it's time to check the mailbag. And now, Adrian, you've had three weeks to come up with something here. I'm expecting greatness from you right now. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Give it to me. Because I'm phoning this one in, baby. Here we go. <laughs> so, remember last time before Christmas, Santa was so kind to let me use his bag for mailbag. Yes. Unfortunately, you know, as his job uh, details, he has to go on back to the North Pole after he's finished delivering toys. And thusly, he had to take his bag back with him, which left me, in turn, bagless. So I had to do it the old fashioned way and send it to you electronically. Check your inbox. Wow. Wow, you're gonna you're gonna you're just you're gonna do me like that. I'm just I'm okay. telling you the truth. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let me bring up my email real quick. The bag has taken many forms. Remember, it was part of your backdrop when you were homeless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just okay. Hang on. I, I the bag I, is more I, of a I, concept. My my I'm on dial up internet, so it's gonna take a second. Hang on. Oh, okay. You got to get that Nebraska internet, bud. I don't know what hey, it is with on. you guys hey. in California internet. I can't I can't hear you over the bleeps and bloops. Sorry, my modem's really loud. Okay, would it, okay. Would okay. it please you would it please you to know that I actually have ordered a burlap sack? Oh, that's that and it's on its me, way here. 
so proud of you. I'm so excited. Okay. I can't wait. Do you know how hard it is to find a burlap, like a good quality burlap <laughs> sack? Impossible. Go to go to like <laughs> Joanne. Just, can you just go to like Joanne Fabric and just buy like some burlap and sew can't the body you just, I go and like buy potatoes and like just get it? And, like, <laughs> Do they even? The no, because they're in those um, they're in those plastic yeah, ones. Yeah, it's like the plastic. Are they plastic it's, now? It's fake burlap. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. I think I got some questions here. I got. Is it is it just one or is my internet that bad? Uh, it may still be downloading. Okay, I don't know. I think it might just be the one, but. We'll see. I'll finish reading this one. If we have more, we'll get to them. We'll see. Okay. This first question, possibly last question, comes from Nerd Dad Setch from over at Discord. Uh, I was going to say Discord.com, but that's not the website. Supergamerboys.com slash Discord. You can join us on Discord. Chat with us over there. We have a lot of fun. He says, I've been listening to the Final Fantasy VII Remake soundtrack, and listening to it makes me want to play it again. Do you have any game soundtracks that you hear that instantly makes you feel the need to play the game again? So he was God feeling Final Lord. Fantasy VII. Oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted all of you guys. He was feeling Final oh, Fantasy yeah. VII. What do you What are you feeling, JJ? God of War. The God of War soundtrack for me is is awesome. I which like one? The the uh, the one with the boy from like 2018. Oh, the new one. Boy. Yeah, uh, I loved that thing and. <laughs> I don't know why. Like anytime I hear that music, it does make me want to go and play it again. Oh so. man, that theme song with on like a good stereo with some nice bass. Oh, when that when that choir comes in, all those baritones. So crazy. Good. So good. Love it. Um, yeah. What what do you what do you what are you feeling, Adrian? What's what's your your pick? I mean, mine are always music games, right? So like, um, easy uh, easy one two punches. Uh, Parappa the Rapper. And, um, of course, on the other side is uh, Um Jammer Lammy, which is basically like the B-side to Parappa, which is, you know, a different character. But mm. they exist in the same universe. And, of course, uh, Jet Set Radio. There has, uh, I can probably count on maybe both hands games that have soundtracks that rival um, the Jet Set franchise. So mm. anytime yeah. I hear those, it goes, I know where that's from. Man, I should really, you know, dig out the Dreamcast or the Xbox and, and boot those up. So good. Um, I'm going to give a couple answers because for me, it's uh, probably, well, I, so Death Stranding, you all know, I love that soundtrack. So that's, that's my kind of gimme answer. You all knew I was going to awesome. say that. But not just even like the, I love all the stuff by Low Roar, like all like the, the music, like the I was gonna say musical stuff. It's all music, but you know what I mean. There's because, but not mm -hmm. the orchestral soundtrack. So like the the soundtrack soundtrack, the score. I hear that, but also want to hear the score. Even the score to Death Stranding, I feel like that's underrated. A lot of people like don't pay that much attention to the actual score. Incredible, but um, so my second answer that's a little less obvious for for me, um, maybe we'll see. Is uh, really just anything from like Guitar Hero and like Guitar, Guitar Hero Two specifically, and then Rock Band one uh i any any song from those two games ever pops up and i'm instantly like like yeah i know this i know this hard <laughs> mode or like you know doing the guitar part or something most of the time my cousins you know we'd fight over who gets what instrument and i always got stuck on the microphone so i'd be singing so I, like, now imme immediately i'm like count. i'm singing along i'm like yeah i love it so i when i this I doesn't count as a so bit bad. of a gray area because those were technically songs before guitar hero so no, they were, but I feel like, but they are still part of the soundtrack of that game. Like right, whenever right. I hear those songs, most of those songs I was introduced to, not all of them, but most of them I was introduced through to guitar hero. through the, through the game. So I hear the gotcha. song and I immediately like, <clears throat> I, I need a I need a plastic guitar right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I hope I, you I don't think to... that today. Cause that set is like $1,200. I know. So oh, man. I, <laughs> have you seen yeah, how much I, a complete rock band set is these days? It's super too expensive. Much. Oh my too God. Much. I, so I just looked at a sad. set recently at a video game store and yeah, I was like blown away by how much money it was. I was like, whoa, they, yeah. they used to like give them give away, them away. sales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a moment where like they're impossible to find. And so like it was like, what is a hundred bucks for the kit brand new or it, like you people were scalping it for like two or three hundred dollars. And then it went to like where everyone had it and everyone was like giving it away at yard sales. And then it went. Now it's like the full swing again where it's like you can't get it anywhere. 
you're a thousand bucks, you can have a set. It's like, what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sucks so bad, but man. Yeah, so that's one of those where, yeah, a lot of the songs I knew before, some of them I didn't like, but they all have that nostalgic factor where like immediately I hear like a song from those games and I'm just like, oh yeah, like I could, I, I know all the words because I've sang them all on all the, on the rock band <laughs> or like <laughs> or, or it's from, or if it's from Guitar Hero, like I was always one playing bass, like, oh, yeah, I know this bass riff. Yeah, kill that. <laughs> I was drums <laughs> so all the time. Good. Yeah. Oh man. Good stuff. I love video games. Video games are cool. Um, well, no, I, so nothing else is loading up on, on the email you sent me. So I guess that was it. Just the one question. So, wow. Wow. The, the, the Patreon group or the, um, discord group had three weeks, three weeks. And that's all they came to up to come with. up with something. And it was just one question from one from a, from a ghost. Nonetheless, from a ghost, a dead man, yeah. a literal dead man. I gotta tell you, this is uh, it's pretty uh, pretty pathetic. Lethargy yeah. set in. All them Christmas cookies and stuff uh, like that. That's what that it is. must People be. What lazy. It, is. it was the turkey, the Christmas. But turkey. But you know what? We're back, so that means you guys are back. Okay. Come on. So yep. next week, I better see at least three questions, and two of them better not be from Kajoma. No. Kajomas. You dig? Yeah. Better not be. Well, yeah, if all three are from the same person, we're shutting. The we got a down. problem. We're done. We're done. We're not. We're not doing it. We're we're done. No, you better kidding. hop in there. You better tweet at us. We there, don't say there was no way to reach us. There's lots. Of we way got to plenty reach of ways. DM. We got email. DM we got any of us. Yeah. DMs. Get it to us. You can do it. I know you can. All right. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so just. I don't, I don't know if you can hear my sons playing Fortnite in the other room. Oh, we can hear. Okay. We can hear. It sounds like he's uh, awesome. I was like, hey, man. Business right now. I was I like, hey, that. man. Uh, I'm going to be recording my podcast in my podcast room Listen, right JJ. next door. Like, can you just be quiet? And he's like, Dad, I'm going to tell you talk to my friends. The heat of battle, okay? It, it, it. <laughs> takes over everything else it sets precedent all right i think that i don't does. care that my dad's recording a podcast okay look we it's us and one other squad and we're gonna win sorry yeah. dad that's it, what's right. happening right now and that's the problem because i i'm like hey uh you know the same podcast that is listened to has been listened to in over 19 countries uh every state in in the uh, free world so you know he's like yeah but you realize like I have to be there for my friends. <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, okay. The game is on the line, Dad. Yeah. That's you what you're pause. not understanding here. You can't pause Fortnite. Can't so pause. No, you can't. I get, I get told that all the time. You can't pause. Because I'm like, hey, come here for a second. You can't pause the game, Dad. It's not 1987. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Like, Want to bet? And it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, turn off the TV. Beep. Click. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh man! Uh, All right, we'd be like World World War Three rage meltdown. Like, oh, trust man. me, <laughs> man. You wait, you laugh more, Lang. I'm telling you right now, you got boys, and they're one of them. Shep is starting to get into that. Like, he's cute and all this stuff. Four more years, dude, and you're gonna have rage meltdowns when you say no more switch, and he's in a backhand. You, psh, like, what did you say to me, old man? And you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna back out of the room slowly, Garrett. You're gonna back out of the room slowly. I'm sorry, son. I didn't know what. You were. <laughs> right? Sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I, I, I Eyes spoke. on the ground. I like, no it's, your eye house. it's your house. It's your house. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, you know what time it is. It's now time for the Nerdy Nudes. It's now time for the Nerdy Nudes. Oh, Music man. Almost a month ears. without hearing that. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like sweet honey in the air. <laughs> Love it. Garrett threw his hands up like he was praising. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right. <laughs> this first story comes from IGN. Taylor Lyles over there writes, Sony confirms its next VR headset is called PSVR 2. In case you all were wondering, <laughs> it is in fact called this PSVR 2. How original, Boy, I you know? can't imagine what that conference room was like when they were trying to pick a name. <laughs> it must have taken days, weeks <laughs> to nail a, a, a great right? <laughs> moniker for this piece of revolutionary hardware. It's like they've already had one before 
right. and what are they going to call the sequel to it? My goodness. I don't know. I don't know. Tricky, tricky business. To be uh, fair, you they... know what? They could have called it PS Vitar. <laughs> what? <laughs> one more, because one more. run that by me because... one more time. <laughs> Listen, okay. Let me break it down. Okay. Sony, 2004, 2005. What do they come out with? PSP. Yeah. Sony, 2010, 2011. They're getting ready to drop the NGP. Everybody's looking at it. Easy slam dunk recognition. What do you call it? PSP2. What do they call it? PS Vita. PS Vita. Why? They could have did the same thing here. Because Vita is P- life. No. <laughs> PSP2 should have been that console's name. Mm. So PSVR2, right? Yeah. Easy slam dunk. There's already a V in the name. Right. So you call it PS Vitar, where you put Vita in the middle, and the V and the R are capitalized. Uh, I just I just got it. When you first said it, I'm like, I don't understand. What the heck is a Vitar? Is it in the shape of a guitar? And you put your face in it? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you with this thing around your Let's neck Let's not a guitar. act like Sony wouldn't do it if they were given the chance. They showed uh. that they would. <clears throat> now that I'm you bring that here. up, that doesn't make sense why they would call it Vita. Exactly. Yeah. You already yeah, have the name recognition with PSP. Why would you not call it PSP two? Ugh. Because Vita means life. <laughs> no, it clearly does not. <laughs> it clearly does not. Uh, I'm one of the of, three people who bought one. It clearly does not. Uh, speaking you of, you got to give him credit. Oh, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. I was just gonna say you got to give him credit for finally coming up with this with this version of the PS uh, VR two. Oh, yeah. Um, we, we saw this coming. I mean, everybody knew that it was going to happen eventually. Yes. Um, I'm kind of surprised it didn't come out a little bit sooner. I don't know if uh, if people have really jumped on the PS4 VR using it with their with their PS5s very much. I, I have not. So I mean, that's all well, they had. You, that's all they now. had. And but, but I think the biggest problem is you can't buy them. Like You don't see PS VR units out in the wild anymore. Like They made them for <clears> a bit and then they just they stopped. And so. Right. Like. So you're right. People really have, unless they already owned one, like they're not because you can't get them unless you buy them secondhand from eBay or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but real quick, what I wanted to say about PSP, off track again, we're going on the rabbit trail a little bit. Last episode that you missed, JJ, I'm going to keep pointing that out just so everyone knows that you're a flake. Um, yeah. <laughs> Adrian convinced me to uh, pick up a PSP subliminally oh. he he didn't he didn't say it to me directly but it was like subliminal subliminal messaging he told me and uh i won the auction on ebay the guy shipped it out from japan i ordered that's right it comes straight from japan it's, sweet bronze but it's, color but dude i keep checking the tracking and it just says like it left japan and that's it i have no oh, idea it's where caught it's caught up at. in customs oh so man I, I i got a i got a message from uh uh, oh, who was it? Now I can't remember who it was. Uh, Connor. I think it was Connor over at uh, um, Super NPC. Show? Call Me By Your Game. Mm-hmm. And he wanted to have me on for some some Metal Gear stuff for on for because they're doing their their uh, what is it called? I, I'm like, I'm really bad at telling like stories. Like their book club it. series where yeah, they go they're through doing a book club each series. one. And I told him, like, yeah, dude, I can do it. I got a PSP coming and it comes with portable ops. And then now it's held up in customs. I'm like, Oh no. Oh God. No, please. <laughs> like I'm not going to be ready for the episode. <laughs> we're supposed to record like next month. And I'm like, I might not have it till next month. <laughs> like it might be a close one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay. we, we is that get... the only one they want you on or did they, that's did the they one, ask you? That's the only one they mentioned so far, but I told them, I was okay, like, I'll be I on was any like, and, they, I'll, I'll, I was I'll gonna be on say, any and all of them. I'll be on any of all. Right. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's like all right he's off you're coming on a little strong here <laughs> yeah a little, a little too intense <laughs> um but yeah so look forward to that i'm excited to be on that uh so th- they they want me to do call me by your game but i haven't come up with a game yet and then they also talk about me doing uh yeah the book club i'm like yes, what do you mean you haven't come up game. with a game yet do that stranding what are you talking about oh that's a good one i don't know how i didn't think of that okay well i've, I've thought, figured out my game <laughs> There you go. Well, I, my first Duh. one was my first one was like Metal Gear, and these they and but I looked I looked at their backlog, and they already done, already done one and two, so I was like, ah, I can't do that. But 
that's that's a good point. That's a good point. I'll go ahead and uh, do a little good old you, best training. You could always. Well, how did take you this make it without me for three weeks? You could always take this opportunity to like actually yeah. finish a game like Red Dead Redemption Two. You know what, JD? Shut up. Uh, what? I'm just <laughs> talking reason. I don't. Know. Let's get back to the news story. We are so far <laughs> off track. During its I love how he thinks we everybody just has a hundred hours to just put down yeah, everybody right? for, dude. for Red Dead. Like it's everybody no problem. Does. Look, you have a hundred hours. Like you know how many hours of games I don't. that Morlang played this year that he could have been devoting to Red Dead? Uh technically this year he hasn't played very many uh, at all. Yeah, no. Oh no, he he has. You don't you don't know Garrett. Four, like I guarantee he has ignored his children and his wife. And any intimacy with the family at all. Last year, these sentiments all. would have been true. This That's year, true. however, the clock has reset. Clock uh, reset. But now, but now he has a job where he's held accountable to do work exactly. during the day. Exactly. So he so doesn't let's have see, the ability. Let's see those numbers this year. Now that you got stuff to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fine. While well, I'm kicking it out of my plane, on my ride to Orlando, I'll just uh, pull out the old switch and uh, no. Anyways, uh, during its CES 2022 press conference, Sony shared new details on its upcoming upcoming successor to the PSVR, confirming that the PSVR 2 is the official name of the next gen head mounted display. I love that. That's what they call it, head mounted display. Uh, like, like no, who calls it that? During the press conference, Sony dropped a lot of new information on the highly anticipated headset, including the name of the controllers, which we are all just dying to know, uh, officially Ooh. called the Sense controllers, which Makes will sense. offer things such as haptic feedback, a trademark feature available in the DualSense controller. The latest PS blog post notes that the PSVR 2 will feature an OLED display with a 2000 by 2040 per eye panel resolution. The headset will also support 90 hertz and 120 hertz with a field of view of approximately 110 degrees. This Sony thing is going to cost $500. Oh, easy. Uh, Sony also notes that the PSVR 2 will include four cameras on the headset and a controller tracking IR camera for per eye tracking. You heard that you, you, you heard hmm. that right. You hmm. heard that right. It's actually have eye <clears throat> tracking in it. So not only is it going to track your hands and controllers and the room around you like the Quest does, but it's going to have eye tracking as well, which is crazy. Like so the wherever, Vive does. So like, yeah, so wherever you're looking around, it's, it's tracking, which is crazy technology. But yeah, you're right. The Vive does that as well. Uh, in addition to new information on the PSVR 2, Sony also announced one of the f first new games confirmed to run in the next-gen headset, Horizon Call of the Mountain which is being co-developed by Guerrilla Games and Fire Sprite Games, the latter of which was acquired by PlayStation last September. No additional details were made available for Call of the Mountain as of yet, but Sony says the game is being built specifically for PSVR 2 and will open the doors for players to go deeper into the world of Horizon. So, I don't know. It's not much, but... It, it least, sounds cool. It, it, They're least, just too late. I have an coming. Oculus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. So I, I was showing the guys before the show. I picked up an, a Quest 2. And yep. dude, my like, Quest is right over there. This thing is. You're too late. So yeah. I haven't got to use it too much yet, other than just like setting some stuff up. But I did for a second fire up some <clears throat> Half Life Alex. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ree! Red alert! Red alert! Ree! Ree! He's coming! Close all the hatches. Whatever you Lock do, don't say doors. his name three times. Just don't say his name three times. <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, I think that there's like a, a niche market for VR. So I think that a lot of people, there's a handful of people that are playing uh, virtual reality games. Some of us, I, I've had a little bit of issues with like vertigo and getting kind of like sick from playing. And I think there is a lot of people like me who do get sick and can only do it in small increments. I think that there's a, a small Just amount of people. The, the that, senior market. Mm -hmm. Well, that hurts, man. That hurts so bad, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. I won't even deny it. <laughs> uh, I think there's like a, there's a handful of people that are playing VR games. And I think the quest has already hit up a lot of the people uh, yeah, and I, I just don't think that there's going to be a whole lot of people buying this. Also, as pricey as this is going to need to be, with all of the all of the stuff that's in it, yeah, they've they've made an incredible dual sense. So to put in some of the features like the haptic feedback and stuff, that's fantastic that they're going to have that as part of this with the sense controllers and stuff like that. But I just don't see a lot of people buying this. I don't think it's going to be a huge, huge seller. They're probably not going to make a whole lot. 
Uh, so they're not going to have a whole lot sitting out in the wild. Yeah. But My, it was like that for the first one, too. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't, they, they sold a lot. I think they sold maybe like two, two and a half million of the first PSVR. But that was like maybe just a little bit compared to what Oculus sold. Like <laughs> Oculus moves units. So but how many because, PS4s were sold? So, though, so PSVR, uh, as of January 2020, five million units were sold. Okay. All right. How many how many PS4 units were sold? Uh, there's about 105 million, right, Garrett, around there. All right. Um, so I'm not good at math, but that tells me that it's a it's a minute amount of people that are playing virtual reality. Uh. From to be PS4. fair, when it first came out, it cost as much as the console, so it's not going to be something that everybody yeah, can easily yeah, get like, into. What four hundred bucks for the VR, yeah. four hundred bucks for a console? Mm. So yeah, it really was, and I, it really was a testing of the waters. And I think they realized like, oh, it sold more than we thought. So I know, I know. While I was reading that, uh, Adrian, you mentioned like, oh, it's going to cost a pretty penny, but I feel like they have to bring the price down. In order to a compete against Oculus Quest and so like the Oculus devices, and b to grow that from five million sales to, but can they afford to sales? take more hits? Because yeah. they're for sure already taking a hit on PS5 hardware itself. I don't think so. so. They can't take a hit on that and VR, right? That's that's just yeah. they're already bleeding money. So well, so and 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 then my my second question is also. It only works on PS5, and it and and, and just so I, and something that I just looked on a PlayStation bog. One other piece of information that's mentioned: it only requires one cable, which is nice because the crazy yeah, that's system, sick. the crazy system they had with the PSVR. The Don't PS4, get me started was on that. So oh crazy, like three, God. four cables you got to plug in. This is one. I cable. used to dread having to set up oh, uh, PSVR horrible. one, and and I had the I had the launch unit that didn't have the pass through for like 4K HDR yeah, stuff. Me too. And so every time I wanted to use HDR, I'd unplug it all. But uh, it, it, this get, the PSVR two only runs on a PS five, and if you can't get a PS five, why are people going to buy a PSVR two? Like people are going to buy a VR two if they can't get a PS five. So <laughs> it's like I don't understand what they're doing here. I mean, especially with the next story we're about to go over too. Like they can't they can't even get their PS five numbers up. How do they think they're going to pump these out and make any sales? Like I don't I don't get it. I don't know what they're doing. Um, am I excited about it? Like, heck yeah, VR is cool. I love my PSVR. I had a VR PSVR, rules, yeah. Love the thing. Um, but yeah, I just don't know if now is the right time. I know like a couple years ago before the PS5 came out, we're like, where's PSVR 2? Like we kind of like, at least I was like, I was like, I'm ready for it. Give me the next upgrade yeah. one. But now that like you can't get PS5s and I don't know, there's other like more reasonably priced options out there. Like the Quest 2 is just came out in 300 the last, bucks like, yeah and it's like 300 bucks i'm like pfft. and you can it doesn't require any computer or cable or anything i go out to the park and play in the middle of a field so garrett, somewhere <laughs> garrett they mentioned the call of the wild uh horizon yeah. zero dawn call of the wild so are there any games from any of the the existing uh, ip that would convince you to go man maybe i need to rethink this that's uh, play okay <laughs> <laughs> there's so. Death Stranding. I already bought Death Stranding. I didn't I, see I that literally, I literally bought a PlayStation Five so I can play Death Stranding, the, the uh, director's cut. Which, by the way, yeah. just like last month, got announced is coming to PC, and I'm like, guess I gotta buy it twice on PC. I gotta buy another version on PC. Well, that was a good waste of four hundred <laughs> bucks. But if they did a, a, a VR experience on uh, on on PS Five, that might get me to. Grab a you PSVR. better believe, without a shadow of a doubt, Kojima has like a, a dev kit for that sitting over there at Kojima Productions. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? He was probably one of the first people they gave it to. Yeah, he better. He better have one. I want all of those games to be VR. <laughs> Imagine PT in VR. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks. No, thanks. Because nope. um, I'm imagining Capcom getting one and ha having to go back through RE8. RE8 Oh my gosh. In VR and having to go through that dollhouse and absolutely not. Oh no. Absolutely. No. Absolutely <laughs> not. You couldn't pay me any amount of money no. to no. ever go through that Resident Evil 8 in VR. Resident Evil 7 was stressful enough. 
That they could be like, fellas, house. quit your jobs. We <clears throat> bought Super Gamer Boys. We're giving you all a salary. I'd be like, uh, what's yeah. the catch? You got to play uh, REA VR. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Resident, <laughs> Resident Evil 7 in VR was ridiculously scary. Like, yeah. I felt I'm I was still scarred from that. <laughs> <laughs> still a PTSD from that. Oh, man. But, but yeah, so piggybacking off of um, this VR talk, uh, this n- next story is from IGN, from Adam Bankhurst over there. PS5 shortage has reportedly led Sony to make more PS4s than initially planned. So to deal with the ongoing global PlayStation 5 sh- shortage, Sony has allegedly decided to produce more PS4s than it had initially planned to help fill the, f- fill the supply vacuum and keep gamers within the PlayStation ecosystem. As reported by Bloomberg, sources say Sony has told assembly partners that it is planning to produce PS4s throughout 2022, despite having plans to discontinue assembly at the end of 2021. This strategy would add roughly 1 million PS4s to help with the fact that it can't produce enough PS5s due to the global chip shortage that is impacting so many parts of the tech world thanks to challenges that have arisen from the COVID-19 pandemic. This number could be adjusted based on demand, and the decision was said to be reached because the older console uses less advanced chips. It's simpler to make and provides a budget-friendly alternative to the PS5. Lots of money. According to a Sony official who asked to remain anonymous, this strategy is meant to fill the supply vacuum and keep gamers within the PlayStation ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So I see what they're doing there, but I mean, if not, it's the year of our Lord 2022. The year, like... It is 2022 AD. People want next gen consoles. Yep, they're gonna have a lot of a we, lot of systems sitting around. What are they retelling yeah. them for? Probably exactly what they, what they were before. I imagine probably see, like that's what, whatever. Like, like you're gonna see. You're gonna hold on. Like I, so you're I, gonna like, put a PS3 for like 300 bucks probably for 300 dollars, and you're telling me for a hundred more dollars I can get a PS or a PS3. I said PS. You know what I meant. PS4. Yeah. For three hundred dollars, and for a hundred dollars more, I can get a PS Five. Why in the world would I do that? You, you what you sane wouldn't. person is you doing wouldn't. that? You wouldn't. Unless, you wouldn't unless you were absolutely desperate. Like you, you had a PS Four, and it literally caught on fire and blew up, and then an atomic bomb. Then dropped I'd on still it. wait. I would still wait until there's fives. <laughs> right. <laughs> that I. I I I would do the same, but you never know. If you're desperate, you got to get that Fortnite fix. You gotta do what you There's gotta do. There's plenty of ways to play Fortnite. You can play Fortnite <laughs> on a toaster. It it sure. no. You can. There is me. no feasible reason why if you're already waiting for a PS5, you would jump on a PS4. Unless yeah. it was like maybe a hundred dollars. I could see it. But right. there's no way. Yeah. Like I could see one if, if they're like, yo, we're we're making you know, launch PS4s, right? We mm-hmm. we we have the blueprints left over for that, and we're gonna give them away. We're well, not give them away, but we're gonna sell them for like a hundred bucks <laughs> yeah. to fill the gap. Okay, that's maybe feasible, but come on now. Yeah, it's a full price PS4, and then not even a pro sense. at that. Not even a pro. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah, okay. make it doesn't make any sense at all to me. Like I, I mean their argument of keeping people in the ecosystem like yeah that's that's well and great and all but either sell them heavily discounted or just make ps5s how about that like yeah put uh, these resources towards making ps5s what do you i don't know it's it's so so bizarre to me i it's just so pointless because like jj said like they're just going to have a bunch sitting around on shelves and then they're going to be like Mm -hmm. I, and then they're going to use that as an argument for something later on. They're going to be like, oh, well, yeah. sales aren't good for blah, blah, blah. So we're not going right. to make this X, Y, Z product because of because of our yeah. PS4 sales. And it's like, that's because no one wanted a PS4 because the PS5 yeah, had they, been out for over a year and they still couldn't get one. Almost a year and a half. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't have the endless supply of money that Microsoft does. So the only way that I could see that working on them going back to the old generation and making a, a crap ton of consoles like that and trying to flood the market with it to just to keep that PlayStation uh, frenzy going is if they did slims, if they did like PS4 slims and sold them at like ninety nine ninety nine. You know, that's like the only them, like, way that this you know, is like, feasible. Let's, but let's then pop you them also, out for super cheap to keep them into people's hands. You also goof though, and you shoot yourself in the foot because now if you're buy if I'm a consumer and I'm buying a PS4, brand in new in 2022. Yeah, 
I expect to get at least five years of support out of that system, right? Keep so now you have games. to keep the right. You now you have to keep doing these dual generation releases for people who buy it this year. Because what do you? I'm not gonna buy a PS4 right now, and you'd be like, oh, just go and play the old catalog, huh? Mm. If you want me to play the old catalog, why didn't you? Why did? <laughs> Why did you release the system, re-release the system this yeah. year? Which, to be totally fair, though, it is a really great catalog. The it P is, the PlayStation but it's fantastic. Out. It's a fantastic catalog. But if I'm buying it this year, mm -hmm. and you're trying to get me to hold over, like, hold over until what? No. It's a, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. Because, and, and it just takes me back to when a good old Jim Ryan said, we as Sony, we believe in generations. Generations. We believe. You know what? And they absolutely and you know do. What? From here they on out. They absolutely do. <laughs> from here on out, we will only create PS5 games and PS5 consoles. And here we are, 2022. Every release, other than like what? Ratchet and Clank has been a dual release. And now they're making PS4 consoles again. It's like, what is happening But Jim Ryan, he, he, you know what? I have to give him his credit. He... He meant it. See, we interpreted it incorrectly. When he said that they believe in generations, they really, really believe in generations. So much so that they brought the old generation yeah. back they, they, because they, they love it so much. They really believed in that one specific. They really liked the PS4 generation. That part got right. left out of the they interview. They believe in that one. He actually said, we really believe in... PS4 generations. You know, he got like cut out of the interview. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, man. This is not, I, I don't know. It's this so is crazy. not the move. Unless yeah. you're going to fire Salem, this is not the move. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't make sense. Especially with a PSVR 2 on the way that can only be played right. on a PS5. <laughs> you just announced that. <laughs> it doesn't make what? sense. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I uh. think that the fire sale idea is actually a decent idea. Like I, the think fire sale if, idea would be genius. Yeah, you if do, they're, if you they're do stuck a, doing it, you know, yeah. why not do it in a way that's like okay? And I, I mentioned this before when talking about Xbox, is make it so inexpensive that you get it into the hands of all gamers, so where that they know, oh, if I'm going to play a game, I'm going to Xbox or I'm going to PlayStation, mm -hmm. you know, and so make it to where it's inexpensive, especially for. Families uh, like mine that have multiple children uh, and like they're fighting over the system. Um, if you make it to where ninety nine ninety nine, you get a you PlayStation can put a PS4 4 in every room. Slim, right? Exactly, and that's that's the whole point. It's like hey, I can get a couple. It's like having a Roku box in every room. You know, it's like okay, you get you. It's like Oprah. You get a PlayStation Four. You get a PlayStation yeah. Four. You know, I mean that's the only way I can see it working, and it, I think they'd actually make a little bit of money. I mean, they're not going to make money on the on the consoles themselves if they were selling them that cheap. A base PS4 can't cost more than a hundred dollars to produce these days. There's no way with like an old hard drive and the old chipsets and all this. There's no. They don't way. even have. They don't even have SSDs. Yeah, it's a hard disk. Right. It's a HDD in there. Like, there's no reason they can't. Like, I could buy a one terabyte hard hard drive, like not an SSD, but like an old disk drive for like 30 bucks on Amazon. So And that's you like, as a consumer. Yeah. So that, imagine that's, buying them and that's in a bulk. one yeah, and that's a 1 terabyte. Like they only put like what two a 250 gig in a PS4 500 or whatever. So like you can get those for like 10 bucks off Amazon. Right. Like, let, oh, let me tell you right now if they were selling 99 $100 uh PlayStation 4 Slims like we're talking about, I'd buy one. We know I mean, you would. Not, we know you would. If anything about the deals. If anything using it like a media player and being able to, you know, play some games and stuff like that, you know. Not, I mean, uh, it, it. It's definitely a compelling. It would be a compelling uh, a sale. Even if they were like, yeah, if you if you did those and yeah, put them for a hundred. Even if you want to do like maybe some pros too, put those for two hundred. Hey. Mm -hmm. See, this would make more sense if up. it was PS4 Pros. That would that would make more sense. But yeah, it would, would make just... sense if it was both. I feel like. Yeah. But it's got to be those price points. It's got to be the 100 and the 200. Yeah, it's got to be dirt cheap. Give it to me dirt cheap. Give it to me practically that, for free. Right. Or the 100 with three months of PS Plus. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, would right. tide me up. Well, no, because that does make sense. That would tide somebody over for 100 bucks until mm -hmm. they can get a five, right? Because they can still, yeah. at least even if it's the base version of it, they can still sort of play all the dual releases that are going to be coming out. Mm -hmm. So... 
that would make the most sense but don't don't yeah. don't you dare try to charge me a full price for a ps4 yeah if if they had uh that ps plus for three months you figure if they had access to uh to like that ps4 or the uh, ps collection the ps yeah. plus collection yeah you know i mean that's that's all the best games exactly you, know, like you could play that for for three months for free with that off oh, too. sign me up there's all kinds of people that go crazy on that and you know what you might actually end up winning people over to the ps plus uh, you might win people over to those PlayStation 4 games. So yeah. you're welcome, Jim Ryan. We just made you a crap ton of money. You need ideas, you come do it. here. They ain't going to do it. <laughs> not not going to do gonna, it. They're going to release these full price. They're going to sit on shelves. And then after a while, Walmart's going to get tired of these sitting there, and they're going to sell them for $100. Yeah, Black Friday. That's exactly what's going to happen. Black Friday, they're going to go for 100 bucks a piece or cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can I can hear it now, like store managers and and the higher ups at Walmart when they get those pallets of PS4s. They're like, oh my god, where are we gonna put these, dude? <laughs> they just have like a burn pile in the back of there. Just go burn them. <laughs> right, just like, why did Sony do this? They're taking up my shelf space, my warehouse space with these. Somebody get Jim Ryan on the phone. Oh man. All right, well, let's head to this last news story here. E3 2022 cancels in-person event while digital show remains uncertain. This is from Rebecca Valentine over at IGN. The ESA has canceled its in-person event for E3 2022, according to a statement shared with IGN by the ESA. But while they point to upcoming announcements, the future of the show this year and beyond remains unclear. Due to the ongoing health crisis, uh, crisis. It doesn't say that at all. I made that up. Health risks surrounding COVID-19 and its potential impact on the safety of exhibitors and attendees. E3 will not be held in person in 2022, reads a statement sent to the IGN by the ESA. We remain incredibly excited about the future of E3 and look forward to announcing more details soon. This effectively means that currently E3 2022's very existence is uncertain, with no dates set and no physical event planned. That would theoretically leave a possibility for a digital showcase, but in a follow-up communication with IGN, the ESA added that it could not confirm at this time whether or not there would be a digital event this year instead of the physical event as there was in 2021. The ESA's announcement arrives in the middle of an ongoing deadly global pandemic that just saw a record number of new cases in the US. When the ESA made its announcements around a physical event last year, vaccinations were still slowly ramping up and many observers believe that in-person gaming events at a larger scale would resume in 2022. They did briefly, with a smaller PAX West taking place in the fall and the Game Awards in December happening without incident. But the rise of the new coronavirus variants and go ongoing concerns about testing availability and mask mandates have made prospects dicier for the foreseeable future. So, yeah, at this point, uh, oh yeah, yeah, here's the part I was, I was looking for. It's 2022 show never had firm dates set and was never on the official LACC calendar. So even according to the LA Convention Center, E3, you know, the ESA hadn't even scheduled it or even attempted to schedule, you know, reserve the the, the, the location there. Mm -hmm. So pretty crazy. Um, and then there's been some rumors coming out from even Jeff Grubb. He's saying that uh, from, and I don't sometimes it's speculation. Sometimes he actually has insider knowledge. I'm not sure about this one, but there's rumors that it might, the online event might not even happen this year. So pretty wild. Like the, how, just up in the air the future of e3 is at, at this moment i remember reports about last year though that the esa was even scrambling just to put the online event on last year so it makes sense that they probably were like uh we don't really have anything to show so um or we don't want to put anything on and everybody realized last year hey you know what it's a lot cheaper for us to put our own thing on <laughs> than it is to pay the esa you know, however many millions of dollars for the uh, for the spot and the time right? when it's on the same Internet that everybody can access. So why are we paying you? Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing is I don't think they it's not that they don't want to put on a show. It's just that they can't book anybody because everybody knows that they could do it cheaper. Yeah. So that's kind of where they're at. I feel like they just aren't saying that publicly. That 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 does make sense, because, yeah, you're right. There is a. um I mean, quite a few people still did E3 conferences last year, but there were also a couple that just like, well, Sony for one, they haven't really been in E3 for a few years, even when it was meeting in person. They've just been doing stuff on their own. And uh, it's been working out for them and working out for other companies that tried it last year. Like Ubisoft did a few 
uh, um, like outside of E3. Didn't they do one outside of E3? Um, I felt like there's one more, but yeah, times are changing. Uh, E3, at least, I mean, as an online thing, just doesn't work when anyone can just go to twitch.tv, make an account, <laughs> and live stream their event from there, right? Right. The only the only positive to it, though, is, like, it is awesome having, like, a whole week. It's all scheduled out. Everyone's, like, working together. So, so that way, like, okay, we get this big, you know, dose of news here. And I don't know. It's kind of a fun thing, a fun, like, our Super Bowl almost of video games every year. We get this whole week of events, though, um, where, like, now, like, not having the ESA kind of handling that who knows when things could happen like we might get an event from sony here an event from xbox there is an event from so and so so i guess that's that's my only gripe about it is like yeah i understand why they won't need it but i don't know i i i would kind of miss it if it's all like spread out and scattered like you know if we were having to cover things over the course of like three months instead of a weekend you know i mean they could all just come together under that under uh keely's new thing uh, his mm. uh, summer games fest, because I don't oh, think yeah. he is charging them nearly as much. Because I think he understands too that uh, you know they could just do everything on their own if they needed to. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, that's a, the best way for them to kind of how you were saying give that no, that uniformity. Everybody's in one place. Everybody goes at certain days, and we have a schedule, a set schedule. Yeah, that's just a thought. That's if that's I'm a good if point. I'm Keely, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm talking to everybody, yeah, and seeing if they want to be on the uh, summer games thing. Well, and looking here, okay, never mind. I was on their website. This is for 2021, but even in 2021, E3 happened, and Summer Game Fest still had Xbox. They still had Sony. They still had Square Enix. They still had, you know, basically the only people they didn't have is like Nintendo and. Uh, well, I was going to say Bethesda, but they're owned by Xbox now. So, yeah. So even in in last year when E3 happened, most people still did another conference for Summer Game Fest. So maybe it just makes more sense to bring it together and just do it once at Summer Game Fest and not have to worry about doing a <laughs> two for one for E3, one for Summer exactly. Game Fest. Exactly. So, yeah, maybe you're onto something there. This Summer Game Fest might become... Uh, get a little beefier this year, which is exciting too. I might know what I'm talking about. Adrian might be on. He might. You're smarter than <laughs> smarter than you let on. You know, you you like to, to fake us all out and you know sit back and let us ramble and sound like idiots, and then you come out with like the genius <laughs> and then stuff. I'm like, like hey. oh, what the heck? Where were you when me and me and JJ were out here rambling like idiots, <laughs> going back and forth like morons? Yeah. yeah. Let me let me put uh, the pieces together for you. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you do do that. You always come in and like clean up the mess that we make and like make it sound smart and like kind of tighten it all up. We're just like, Bleh! and then Pretty you much. come in and you're like, hey, and then I go, sweep, 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 sweep. Yep. Yep. Cleaning it all up. The cleaner, the sweeper. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> cool. Well, yeah. So that's it at this point up in the air, uncertain, who knows? Whatever it is, whatever happens, I'm sure there'll be coverage here. We did it last year. We'll do it again this year. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a blast. It all yeah, even if it almost kills us like even it did last time too. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll make it through. We did it last year. We can do it this year. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that'll happen? We die? Huh? It's not that bad. Huh? What? <laughs> I didn't sign up. What? <laughs> oh, when you when you became a host of this podcast, you you didn't realize that that was in the the fine print that you you know you do uh, sign your sign your life away. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Alrighty. Well, now it is time for Tall Tales with JJ, the part of the show where JJ gives us a story in two minutes. I set a timer. We then have to deliberate Adrian and I whether it was true or not, and then JJ reveals yay or nay, true or false. Yeah. Phony or not phony? I was trying to think of an opposite yeah. of that. I was really bad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're good at you're good at coming I'm, up with stuff. I am so good at stuff. <laughs> I am so good yeah. at things. So let me get your timer started for yeah, you. Get get the timer going. And let me know when you're ready to go, and I'll press the button. Whenever you're ready. All right, ready, go. 
I used to drive a flatbed truck that was a propane driven truck. So if you've ever driven a propane truck, they are really crappy and they mm-hmm. have uh, these huge propane tanks on the side of the truck. So I was driving this truck for the lumber yard that I worked for and uh, I used to be a smoker. I smoked two and a half packs a day. I smoked like a freight train. Every time I got a chance, I, I didn't like air so much. I was a big fan of the smoke getting into the lungs instead of oxygen. So uh, I was smoking a cigarette at the truck and uh, I was going to make a delivery and I had it parked over at the gate and the truck was running. I went and jumped into the truck and I've got a cigarette in my mouth and I'm saying bye to some customers and I'm like smoking my cigarette and I'm like, all right guys, I'll see you later. You know, and I jump into the truck smoking my cigarette and uh, what ended up happening was I had the cigarette in my hand and as I started to drive, I ended up having, I had the seatbelt on. I hit a pole, a crash post that knocked off the valve of this uh, 200 gallon propane tank on the side of the truck and it shot gas out like all huge and it sounded so big in my ears and I saw the gas flying out and I freaked out and I have the cigarette in my hand and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And I put the cigarette out on the seat. I literally put it out on the seat and then jumped out the passenger side, left the car running, jumped out the passenger side And I ran a block to the other building and I'm running and and all my coworkers are just standing around while I'm running and they're like, what's going on? And I'm like, I, the gas. And I just kept running. Right. And then eventually the gas just went out. It didn't blow up. I was right next to a hundred year old building, 120 year old building that I was worried is going to blow up, but I was more worried about myself. Afterwards, they were like, JJ, you basically saved your own life and didn't say anything to anybody else. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I, I was waiting. I was waiting for the moment where you were like, as soon as I got out of the car, I jumped for it and it just exploded into a million pieces like an action movie. <laughs> uh, and there was action, all right? Because check this out, guys. I don't know. You know that like there's a few statements that are like truths, right? There's uh there's things like, you know, you don't tug on Superman's cape. Uh there's black don't crack, right? But uh, mm-hmm. fat guys don't run, okay? They don't run for when anything. When everything is on the line, you 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 know you jog a little bit, maybe. Yeah. So one of my coworkers that saw me, he said, "I knew there was something wrong <laughs> when you were running," and it told me run. So he ran too because he I was no running. Idea why, but the but bo- he was running. <laughs> the, the boss literally told me later. He's like, "You saved your own life." And didn't and you just said screw everybody else and I'm like oh my god I'm not a hero, but I you know I'm really not. But I mean, am I though? Because I technically save my own life. You know what I mean? Um, that was pretty good. I I I think the biggest red flag is that I don't know. It just it blows my mind that your your employer would be okay with a smoker driving a propane truck. That just seems yeah. like yeah, like right? Like that seems like a bad 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 idea but to be fair he has like smoked with cops before that's true yeah so maybe the employer is also the cop (laughs) (laughs) and it was uh, like yeah um it might it may have been i don't know i don't know i'm thinking this is phony baloney i think it's got to be phony because that seems crazy but okay what is it jj 100% 100% true. No totally way. happened. You exactly almost like that. year old building? <laughs> yes. It was 120 year old building oh at the time. Gosh. Yeah. Insane. Just because. Yeah. It was. Okay. Look, it was one of those moments that, like, when it happened, like, I was so scared in my mind. Then I was like, oh, gosh. Like, I almost like blew up the building and like almost killed a bunch of people. <laughs> and, uh, and I got like kind of scared. JJ could have been in prison. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so the great thing was my boss, who was a yeller and a screamer, wasn't there. So at the time, I talked to him later about all this stuff. So the manager was super cool, and he had one of our customers come over, and the customer used an easy out to pull the valve out, and it was like, yeah, you're fine, and it just smelled like propane for a little while. But yeah, we lost out like a couple hundred gallons of propane out of this. Uh, out of, it might, you know, it might have been less. It might have been like a hundred gallons in the whole truck. I don't remember, but. Basically lost all That's the gas lot. out of that tank 
And uh, yeah, it, that's, it that's could have been to very, blow, very that's dangerous. A, that's enough to blow up some stuff for sure. And it, yeah, it would, and it was a, a very old building. So yeah, it could have been very bad, Jeez. very bad. Insane. Yeah, but I still work there for a bunch more years. <laughs> so. I, I, I don't know who's the bigger idiot, you or them. <laughs> oh, pretty much them. Yeah, pretty much them. <laughs> oh, man. You, you know what's funny is Garrett Garrett hit me up today, and he's like, hey, do you have a tall tales of JJ? And that popped into my head, and I was like, oh, yeah, there was that one time I almost killed everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I was like. Yeah, hey. that one time. Yeah, uh, and Garrett, here's the sad part. I got a lot more. I got a lot more. So uh, like, keep keep tuned. Wait till next time. The next Tall Tales with JJ. Yeah, hold tight. You'll never know what you're going to get. All right. Oh, now it's man. Now it is time for our Patreon ad. This is a part of the show where I tell you to go over to patreon.com slash supergamerboys and support us starting at just a buck a month. You get episodes early and ad-free. If you support us for higher tiers, you can get other cool stuff like the show notes early. Uh, You get shout outs in the show. You can be our boss if you want to be a Patreon producer. One of those cool folks up there. Um, But uh, some of the things you get early access to are things such as this episode. If you're not watching this live on Twitch, Basically, what we do is as soon as we finish streaming, we take the stream down off the air so no one can watch it. It goes out to Patreon supporters right away afterwards, and then everyone else has to wait till Wednesday. Um, so if you get on Patreon, though, you get it early. You don't have to listen to me ramble right now and tell you to give us money. So think about supporting us. Just a buck and get those. But like I said, $5, $10, $15 tiers, you get other cool stuff. Um, you also get access, early access to our Super Gamer Book Club, which is a phenomenal show hosted by Adrian. And uh, like I said earlier, the episode that's available right now is the Super Mario Odyssey episode uh, with Pocket as a guest. Fantastic episode. Blast talking to him. He's a Mario guru. Like, he knows so much about Nintendo. He's like Mr. Nintendo. Um, Fantastic. Tons of fun recording. So support us if you want to listen to that one. Otherwise, you've got to wait two months. Uh... Also, you can sub- uh, subscribe to us here on Twitch. If you are watching live, twitch.tv slash thesupergamerboys, you get um, sweet emotes such as, uh, I think there's an Adrian Hype emote, which is absolutely my favorite. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just like Adrian's face, like, ah, but like shaking wildly. Vibrating. <laughs> so good i love it um i use it all the time like on other people's streams it's my favorite one to spam and other people's and they're like who's that guy who's that <laughs> random dude random who's just dude. like, <laughs> like ah! um and uh and you don't have to watch the ads because there are you know it's not it, i don't i don't play ads on twitch but twitch plays ads on our channel they make us play ads so if you want to skip those and not have to watch those ads every once in a while, so subscribe to us and uh, yeah, then you don't have to deal with them anymore. Um, and you get a free sub. If you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime. Send a free sub, costs you zero dollars, we get five bucks. Take some money from Jeff Bezos. It's worth it. Trust me. He's he he, he thinks he's building. All he's doing is ship. going to the moon he's, with it. He's so. trying to go to the moon, but all Dude. he's making is like weird, like you know, phallic shaped spaceships. That's all. Um, <laughs> Dude, uh, I totally thought that you were getting all that sweet, sweet Twitch ad money. Like, I was like, oh, Garrett's never cut me or Adrian in on oh, that. Oh, we do. Maybe I want to know how much we made, uh, like, last Three month. Cents. I think it was, like, yeah, I think it was, like, <laughs> pennies. Pennies. So, uh, support us on Patreon. So, not only does it cost you nothing, but we actually get more money from it than the ad. So, I'd rather you give us a free sub than watch an ad. So, just give us the free sub, please. All right. Let's get back to the show. All right, here we are back in the episode. It is now time for what you playing. So, boys, you had three weeks to play games. What are you playing, JJ? Sums are look at look at look at him thrown off. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. He thought it was coming to me. <laughs> look at the brain. Look at the smoke coming out of his ear, trying to recover. Go ahead and bounce back. Come he's on, Pardum. He's about to say little nightmares. He's about to. He's I know. About to no, he better not. He better not, or I'll end this stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that. You want to bet? 
Oh man, that hurts. You don't know what I'm capable of. Uh, I I only I played a little bit of Brawlhalla with my daughter. Uh, oh, okay. And and that's the only thing I played the whole time. I, I didn't get fun. to with the new work schedule, going to Missouri for a week for training and stuff like that. I just didn't have that much time. But yeah, Brawlhalla was the only thing I played. And like, yeah, I'm not a big fan of those of those types of games. But she's been in a kick on that lately, where she just wants to play Brawlhalla. And she's like, Dad, play with me. So I let her I let her beat me up a little bit. Now don't forget you are also a part-time Ghostbuster. Oh, how's that? Uh didn't you say like once a month you meet up with this spirit and you guys oh, go to dinner? Yeah, you've well, been having dinner. We're with not the a ghosts, very good that... one because you keep yeah. letting them get away. Yeah, yeah. We we uh we haven't actually been playing any games together, but I've been seeing Zetch uh in fact I shot an empty seat. And and like yeah. a plate with an empty seat over to Garrett yeah. when I was having dinner with Zetch the other <laughs> night, and I said, I don't know if you saw heard about this, but I was no. like, <laughs> I was like, dude, I got stood up on on my date tonight, and I you know the Zetch like stood me up, but I, he was in the bathroom, but like no, we're once a week Zetch and I are getting or once a week, once a month Ooh, Zetch and I are getting together and like uh, and having dinner. He's getting pretty serious. Out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's you know we're taking it slow you know we're just taking things slow seeing where it goes you know <laughs> it's been really nice getting to know uh, getting to know the old Zetster and uh, just trying to bring him back to life you know we and we barely even talked about Half Life Alex like barely wow <laughs> barely. that's a, I'm that's just a kidding. market improvement. I, I'm just kidding. It. We talked about it. it for a good half hour. Yeah, <laughs> it, at was least, a, it was it was a good thirty solid minutes of Half Life <laughs> Alex. Oh man. All right, Adrian, what have you been playing? Uh, I actually uh, been playing my Game Boy a whole lot. Um, my, I've been going back and forth between my Game Boy and my PSP. And uh, I was telling you guys before the show, um, I put um, Final Fantasy IV into my Game Boy uh, that morning. And then the next thing I know, it was dark outside. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Um, that's kind of what happened to that day. I don't know exactly what happened in between, but yeah. That's so um, awesome. I wish I could have uh, a day like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, on my uh, PSP, I was playing a lot of uh, Parappa because oh. uh, they, they did that version or they did that port uh, to the PSP that has all the, it has like widescreen and all the new visuals and all that stuff. And it's a perfect Nice. Like one to one almost experience, and it it rules. Don't they so, have like an um, HD version that came out for like Vita though, or no? Am I... Uh, for for PS4 they oh, did P- a, a 4K PS4. one. Okay. But the problem is, is they forgot about um, modern TVs. They don't have the same uh, latency as um, CRTs from back in the day. Uh-huh. So sometimes even it doesn't matter how good you do. Just because of the latency on the TV, you'll still miss, you know, different cues and stuff like that. Crazy. So, huh. yeah. So you have to play it on a super low latency monitor in order to get like the full on experience. It's gorgeous in 4K, but yeah, this doesn't work. Dang. No. Crazy. On most TVs anyway. Um. Yeah, just kind of been flip flopping between Game Boy stuff and and PSP really. So nice. That's awesome, dude. I'm so excited to get my PSP. I hope it comes in time. Like, I hope it's supposed to. So according to the eBay auction, it said it was estimated between like the 27th and 30, 30th or 30th, like what at the end of the month. They didn't give you any tracking number or anything? They, they did, but the tracking number, literally the last thing it said, December 29th, it just said like left Japan. I'm like, okay, that was like, what, two, three weeks ago. <laughs> it's just somewhere. I mean, I guess customs differs for every country, so. Yeah, I I hope it gets here, though, because I really want to. I've never played Portable Ops, and then I also really want to be on that episode of that <laughs> of, of uh, uh, the NPC's uh, radio's uh, uh, book club there. It'd be so fun. But, uh, yeah, what I have been playing, though, is I played to completion. So I beat my first game of the year. It was Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Oh. <laughs> it was a game that you recommended on a book club a few weeks ago. And let me tell you, that game is hysterical. It rules. I was I was <laughs> playing it with my my brother was sitting on the couch next to me because I was in New York and we only had like a couple days where we overlapped. Uh, he's in the in the army, so he had to head back out. But uh we were I was like, I'm gonna play a game. 
you might think it's a stupid, but just just watch, just watch for a little bit. And immediately, like he was like chuckling and stuff like that. And I I was just dying. Like the the, the humor in that game is so fantastic. I love it. Oh, it's so that makes me feel so good. It's so <laughs> stupid, but so hilarious. I love it. I love how every anytime he picks up any document, uh, at, like the two options are rip or read. <laughs> and it's like, OK, well, I'm going to. And the, and the the rip is on top, and then read is like a small button underneath. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna read it. So you go down and you hit read, and then it shows the text, and then you hit OK, and then it goes back to the same page, and it says rip or read. And I'm like, okay, I guess I have to rip it. And you just yeah, exactly. <laughs> every any any document, whether it's the deed to his house or like very important like tax <laughs> documents or important like whatever like a. a there, I love right at the beginning of the game. It's like in the tutorial. The what is it? The blueberry is like, hey, can you give the strawberry this love letter, or whatever? And or no, it's the other way around. You talk to the, you go to the blueberry. He's in love with the strawberry. Talk to the strawberry. The strawberry is like, hey, take this note back to the blueberry and write. You like read it in front of them and then just whoosh, rip it in half and like, well, that, <laughs> that 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 wasn't very nice. Like, that what? That's not cool, man. What's the deal? <laughs> like I, or. Oh man, uh, this is so good. I, I can just keep going. Like the deal with the snail. Don't give that, away all the good bits. We want people to play it now. Play, Come play on. this game. It's the the freaking the snail that doesn't pay rent. That made me laugh so hard. <laughs> that made me laugh so what, hard. What game? You, what game is it again? So it's I played. Called, it, I played on Switch, and it's called Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, and it's absolutely hysterical. Go play this game, please. Adrian was not lying that this is top tier indie game right here you have to go play it it's i got it and it was on sale for, i think it got for like seven bucks or something. six or seven yeah bucks, it was yeah. like so wow. cheap on sale on this on the on the e-shop but i think it's like 15 maybe regularly normally so. yeah so it's not even a lot even full price but yeah i got like four or five hours out of it and i think there's more i could do because i like i could keep finding all the do there's more documents to rip up uh <laughs> in the game but dude it was so fun um, and then I played a ton of Mario Party Superstars. So I convinced my parents to try it. Me too. It. <laughs> I convinced my parents to play it and they loved it. Like they absolutely loved it so much. My, mo my mom was like, I want to play the Mario board game. That's what she kept calling it. Can I play them? Can we play the Mario board game tonight? Like after the kids go to bed? I'm like, of course, mom. Heck yeah, we definitely Anytime. can. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was so much, and I love. I trolled them so hard the whole time. I just kept picking uh, Waluigi as my character, and they like despise him. They're all like my like Trudy especially. <laughs> so my mom and my dad are just like, he's so stupid. Like what the heck? And Trudy's like, he is like, she's absolutely disgusted by Waluigi. She's like, I hate. Why? Him. What did he do to? Is her? it the short fat guy thing? No, Waluigi is the no, tall, okay. skinny <laughs> Wario. You're thinking of Wario. No, Waluigi is the okay. tall, skinny, like creeper looking dude. Oh, okay. Um, he, right. he looks like me. Um, and uh, <laughs> that's why she hates him. That, like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that totally that's, makes sense that's, now. That's what I kept saying. I'm like, he looks just like me. She's like, no, he doesn't. Oh, <laughs> she's she was so repulsed. Uh, I'm not visualizing now. <laughs> Imagine me and like. Do you know what you need to be for Halloween? I have to be Waluigi oh, now. Oh God, yes, <laughs> please, please. And shave oh my beard my and just have the mustache. Oh man. Yes. Yeah. I. Oh, you have the hair and everything, dude. Oh 100%. my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I never put two and two together. Oh, that is funny to me. It's oh, a me, Waluigi. Um yeah. what? <laughs> dude. Man. Uh, uh. Oh, Kajoma just raided with a party of four. What's up, Kajoma? Thank you so much. Hey. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, man. If she like, but it's not just that she didn't like him. Like she was repulsed. She's like, he's disgusting. I now hate you him. have to do she, it. You have she, to do it. Like she she doesn't hate anyone she doesn't hate things like she's very much no, like oh that she obviously she, does she's she's like, like oh that's not except she, like like yeah her wording is usually like that's not my favorite i don't really like that she was like it was like the first time in our marriage she's like i hate him i'm like oh my god <laughs> it's like why what's the deal with waluigi uh, just, that's great. What, and that's what i said i was like he looks just like me she's like uh, no he doesn't and i'm like <laughs> I mean, yeah, he does. Kinda, this, this tall, winky dude, and just throw a purple shirt on me and a creepy mustache, and I'd look just like him. 
Oh, oh man. I oh, want yeah. this so bad. I want this so bad for you to like dress up <laughs> oh, like that now. Man. But yeah, so we had we had a blast playing Mario Party. I love that game so much. And I tell you what, it 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 got heated sometimes with the four of us. Oh it, yeah. It was so good. It's not Mario Party unless somebody is in the corner seething for a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> at one point. Oh man. Cool. Man. Ah, I do um I got my uh my end of the year report. Uh, you know how like Nintendo sends you out. Oh, you did. You know oh, you yeah. played such and such hours and all that. Mine was pitiful last year for Switch. Um, I'm thinking I may need to put my my stuff up and like beef my hours up w- with mm. my Switch because um I think it said I only played like maybe all of last year. Maybe about three hundred hours, and that's really? like all of last year. I'm trying to remember what mine said. I, I was just gonna look it up real quick. I, I don't know. I'm having a hard time finding it, but um, yeah, I can't remember what mine said. I feel like mine wasn't that impressive, but mine's never impressive because I just, am, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't play a ton of games. Although I think this year was probably better than previous years for me. I played a lot of Switch this year. Like, I played a lot of Switch the first year I had it, and then I, like, had a lull for a few years. And then this year, like, I kind of had a comeback, especially with all the indies you've been recommending. So I've been, like, eating them up on there. But, yeah, I wish I had my numbers up uh, for the show here, but I don't. But, uh, cool. Well, that's it for the show this week, guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining us tonight. It's been a blast. Uh, man, we kept this under <sighs> an hour and a half. That's pretty good. Our, I thought... Coming back from uh, a three-week break, we'd be going at least a two-hour episode. But here we are, an hour 27. (laughs) We still got it. Still prompt. We're doing it. We're doing it, boys. We're doing this for real. Thank you all so much for listening. Uh, Whether you're watching here at twitch.tv slash the Super Gamer Boys, whether you listen on podcast services, watching us later at youtube.com slash Super Gamer Boys, we appreciate each and every one of you just for taking the time, clicking on us, checking us out. Um, Remember, you can... uh, Spotify added reviews now. So go over and review us on Spotify. Please, please, please give us five stars over there. That helped tremendously. Um, Apple Podcasts has always done reviews. So if you have an Apple device, please go review us over there. Uh, If you love what we do and want to support us and help us make new cool things, think about supporting us at patreon.com slash supergamerboys, where you can get episodes early and ad free, shout outs in the show, show notes, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, and uh, in our gratitude, and maybe JJ will send you some of his bath water. I don't know. That's an old thing. Yeah. That was like two years ago. People were doing that. I don't know if it's yeah, still a it's, thing. Uh, what is it now? Hot tub streams. That's was, it. Or was that? Or was that last year? I so. I can't keep up. Yeah, it's like every year there's a new thing. But JJ will do a hot tub stream for you if you want, in a speedo. Mm-hmm. He'll do it if yeah. you don't want. Even, I, yeah. even if you don't want. If you ask me not to, I'm going to so do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, SGBstore.com. You can go over there and get sweet merch, just like our mug mug that I've been sipping out of my coffee tonight. Look at that. This is the one featuring, this is the, the 3.0 version, so it does, in fact, have Adrian's face on there. Not like my love one. It. You'd my, love to see it. My 1.0 that only just had me and JJ that I got just publicly just slaughtered for man i was sipping out of it one it was during the the super the mario party stream and everyone's like you have what you don't have the new one i'm like no I, this one this one works perfectly <laughs> what fine. do you mean you sell it <laughs> oh gosh um so yeah go over there get some sweet merch we got t-shirts we got mugs we got stickers uh during the week you can find us at supergamerboys.com twitter and instagram at supergamerboys i'm on twitter and instagram at g morling uh adrian where can they find you at you can find me any and everywhere uh, at Homeboy. Uh, yeah. And JJ, where can they hypothetically find you at? You can hypothetically find me on Twitter and Instagram at JJ Purdom. And I'm trying to be a better about spending more time there uh, as of late. Yeah. I actually tweeted. I tweeted or something like that or once, well, two weeks ago. I don't. So I, I didn't see a tweet go out, but I saw that you liked a tweet from like six months ago. So there's something. <laughs> hey all of a sudden you like to tweet, I, like that was like i logged last in july like that's, what the heck that's i logged in that's a thing dude you know okay okay better than nothing uh better late than never huh that's what they say 
<laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, that's all I got for this week, JJ. Take it away. All right. For Adrian Homeboy Holmes, for Garrett Marling. I can't, <laughs> hang on, hang on. I, I, I got to stop you right there. Kajoma in the chat just said, I think it's fart jars now. So it went from bathwater to hot tub streams. <gasps> oh, that is a thing. That, that, oh, that is yeah, a thing. Now they're they're fart jar. About this. Okay. So. Look, if there's money in it, I'll fart in a jar and I'll send it to you. Okay, if there's money in it, I'm not above putting a fart in a mason jar. Trust me, I can stank it up. You got to be saying. hot. You got to be oh, hot. It'll be dude. hot. Yeah. It'll be hot. No. Oh, you mean I got to be hot? <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, I could. I could. <laughs> According to some people, I am hot. You know, but also the fart will be hot. So oh my God. I'm just saying. So Let's for go. Adrian Homeboy Holmes, for Garrett Morling, and for myself, JJ Purdom. The self-proclaimed world heavyweight champion of podcast. We are the Super Gamer Boys. And we will catch you on the flippity flop. We're back, baby. I really want to fart in a jar now. No. <laughs> Can we just... <laughs>